Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to our Bretonian Let's Play. Um, as you can see we've pretty much picked up where we left off. Um, I did accidentally have a bit of an error on my previous recording um, but only one turn has passed as you can see we are now on 83 from 82. Uh, what happened was uh, we fought last, uh, last turn as you've probably seen or last episode rather we had that big 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 three armies of chaos to fight. Killed one, two of them fled. Uh, then Balthazar Gelt, this lovely, lovely individual here, led an army of the Empire, picked off the one that fled there, and now we are chasing the other ones out of our lands. We did just try to get an assassination attempt. Um, unfortunately, though, it doesn't look like that worked. Excuse me, I do apologise. I seem to have the hiccups at this moment in time. Oh, my dear. So... Having a quick gander then, um, we know that there's going to be a lot of chaos that's coming around, so it might be an idea if we add this on for the time being, just so we can help stem the tide. As you can already see, chaos is increasing quite sharply over, uh, at least in these areas of the world, which isn't isn't that great for us. Uh, a cattle ranch is fairly cheap and it's going to give us a boon to replenishment. We will also have a gander on this, recruitment cross down, uh, marshal, marshal. Uh, Chosen of the Enchanters. Hmm. Hmm. Very, very, very interesting. I'll tell you what. We probably could do with getting a reduction in chaos and the like, since that corruption will become an absolute, the lady be absolute nightmare to, be, uh, to deal with. So we will start dealing with that relatively quick. You see the vampiric corruption is coming down over here quite well. Um, having a quick scan around, let me just see if there's anything else we can build. We could upgrade that barracks, but there's not really much point. Uh, this province looks pretty pretty good, to be honest. It's pretty well secured. Uh, Gernberg. Well, wow, isn't that interesting? It appears we've not been building on you, so we will put walls there. Uh, my plan was kind of to give this over to the Empire, but it, it does actually appear at this moment in time that uh, the Empire... It's seeming to do some nice, nice little allegiance things with us at the moment. At least they're not attacking us in all our warfare. So I'll see if I can secure a non-aggression pack. They are a little pissed. Are a little pissed that I broke off an alliance. You are not so the welcome are, in my not court. Do that. Yet here you are, friend yeah. or foe. We will see. Yeah. So there we go. They're not not too keen on the whole uh, alliance of order, shall we call it? I am the blood of you. With regards to Luan, we're going to keep pushing him forward. Uh, we can't auto-resolve that battle because no doubt I will lose an Enchantress if I do that. So I think what we will do is Noble. move this guy a little further. So Gernberg is currently vulnerable. Uh, Helmgar, hmm. In terms of the whole public order thing, this is going to pan out quite nicely over here. Obviously, we can't build the stable up any further because it requires a level 3, and for some bizarre reason, Helmgar is not level 3 yet, but it isn't a problem. We will uh, have our units move this way. We'll station him there just in case Nuln decides to get a bit cocky. I'd be very surprised if they do. But speaking of, I'll see what kind of alliances we have with Nuln. Honorable knights come to parley with see the if we can Empire. give them military access. Perfect. The AI doesn't really care half as much as uh, players do, to be honest, with the whole uh, trespassing through borders, which kind of kind of gets a little bit annoying at times. But at the same time, we do have chaos that has just sprung up of hole, uh, sprung out of holes in the ground now, so we need to deal with these ASAP. We're not on the final wave yet, so I'm not going to uh, send all my forces up north. What I am going to do instead, though, is try and build up a good, good, good stable defense, get my economy going up to my uh, more homeland areas. Fucking typical. Of course that Chase. works against us. See, and he's a level 8 sorcerer. This is the uh, and honor. one of the things that does really kind of piss me off about Chaos on this game. They suddenly, suddenly just get these fucking huge armies out of nowhere. I take my lead. Apologies for the language. I was told that it's not big or clever to swear, but sometimes, you know, you just gotta fuck it. So in the meantime, what we will do, we can attempt an assassination on this guy, just out of interest. What are the odds? 30%. 30%. Okay. Well, you'd think by now on the dice roll that we would actually uh, land something decent. So we'll move Sir Eric up. Is there anything else we can recruit? Can we get any heroes by any chance? We can, okay. Campaign line of sight, leadership. 
sanguine enemy hero action success chance. Well, I'll tell you what we will do since we are hero a man short. Pretoria. We will recruit a paladin and we're going to put him into Luon Lee and Kerr's army. So there will be three agents in total in this army. Now the reason I'm thinking of doing this is just because we have some quite decent armies over this side as you guys can probably see. Um, ooh, decisions on what to recruit now. We've got three units of archers, mounted jailmen. I'm so tempted. So tempted. I'm thinking if we get rid of you. I mean, in terms of stats, let me just double check how much better these guys are because you can see the cost of them. They are quite significantly higher, so. Yeah, in terms of stats, they are much, much better. So I'm thinking what we do is we can recruit five in a turn. Okay. We've got the money to burn. So we will. They'll come in at experience rank three anyway, so it's not that big a deal. So get rid of those, get rid of those. And we'll get rid of these. So we'll disband those. And then I will require a uh, recruit rather two of these, two of these to give us a full stack now. So we'll have a lot of lot of power really when it comes to uh, our knights. Just because chaos have an awful lot of uh, mounted skirmishing units, I can get more myself. But personally, I don't really think that that decent. They're, they're all right. I mean, I've used them in previous games, and I've said how great the Vanguard deployment is. And, don't get me wrong, I'm not going back on that. It's very nice to have some early, early grass. Only cross the ultimately so, thank you very much. I will have no aggression with you. But ultimately so, I mean, what we are going to do on our next few turns, we're going to see how far they're going to try and push us. Probably assault the garrison. Okay, so we did try and get an assassination. Okay, so this is the uh, young lad before... Young lad. <laughs> Speak like I know him. Uh, this is the character before that... Right, they're going to get a rebellion soon. Um, one that we inherited when we actually took over one of the previous Ever factions. So we will try and get this 30% chance now. Because the longer we leave him, the hencher he's going to become. Can't be having that. I so will not forsake my honor. I expected a failure, to be honest. I did expect that. And we got what we expected, so we can't complain too badly. My deeds he did try and get an assassination attempt, so we will I embed the hero within Luan Kerr's army. So fantastic. We have a good, 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 strong foundation there. Hockland are improving in the way that they look at us, actually. Quite a few of the nations are. I mean, the way I see it is I have a few choices. I could sally forth and try and find these armies of chaos but ultimately they're uh, they're not here yet so i don't really see the point in wasting our time in trying such things when I've it's dead a witch. oh that's why i was wondering for the life of me as to why it wouldn't Leon just Kerr. let me move luan <laughs> into the city sometimes on this game um something i've noticed more than in other ones because you can actually embed your heroes in a more unique way that they actually appear on the battlefield sometimes if you don't hey, click honor. on the overall banner you'll end up just moving your uh, your knights in a very very peculiar way it can be a little distracting but if you keep keep on top of it you'll be fine so yeah marienburg is very well defended i'm intrigued to see how well these will actually play out when it comes to a proper proper fight because Chaos uh, in sieges use a lot of trolls and things like that, and obviously dwarf, knights not are not, too proud to you know, cavalry are not the, uh, thank you very much, I will take that off of you. Uh, in general, knights are not the uh, greatest thing, like cavalry overall is not the greatest thing you could have in a siege battle. Obvious reason, you know, sieges have got walls and the like, it doesn't always work out in your favour, but, you know, sometimes it can, sometimes it can. So what we will do, we have the funds, upgrade this, upgrade this, also upgrade you to get more money, 
there is no need to have that, that, and that. I've only just noticed that we have the uh, exact same buildings in Gernberg. So we will destroy that one. Have a look at technologies. So we'll go to here. I'm going to try and get as little, little, little devotion, or, uh, no, sorry, little corruption as we possibly can in our provinces, because you'll see later on as to how much of a joke it actually starts to become. Right, intriguing. I can't actually see. Okay, let's let's have a scout because it looks like that's under siege. That's also under siege. So, are these actually being sieged by chaos or the Vargs? Okay. I refuse. It's a big army. Your demise is certain. That's also a big army. So, bear me one second. I will see if I can get. I will listen, but my time access. is short. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Approach and make your offer. We may even but be I make able to no get a alliance. We did indeed. And with regards to these guys. Honorable knights come to parley with the Empire on this fine Auburn tag. We have the military alliance. We'll also get access. Perfect. So the way that I'm planning on playing this now that Chaos is already in effect. Approach is and make your offer. Get as many alliances. But I make no promises to my ascent. Can. They'll pay me for a defensive alliance. Nope, I will not do that. I'll offer you a defensive alliance on its own. I'll accept. <laughs> it's a bit bit bizarre at times. I've got to admit, it is a little bizarre with the way that this game can sometimes work. These guys, how are they feeling about me? Greetings, Bretonian. Not Shed too great. yourself a See if we can get some more money coming in. It will get me an awful lot more than it will get them. But it's not a problem. Chaos on the greetings, Bretonian. Shed yourself. I will pay you. How much can I pay you? I'll offer you a payment of. Oh, I don't want that much. Okay, you little bastards. I was offering you some trinkets, but you know. So, as you can see, we did the extra bit of trade there, and already we've made quite a su substantial uh, increase there. So. Cool. So that's given us that extra uh, vision that we needed there in our alliances. So we can see that there are Vargs pretty much everywhere. What happened to that other Chaos army? They are over here raiding. So what we will do... My reputation now these are me. fully back to business. We'll move our knights far out over to here to deal with this other scaling army. Once we've dealt with those... Uh, we'll leave Luen for the time being. Let these get a little bit closer. I know we do have an alliance with them, but I'd no, rather not fight two stacks at the same the time. As you've already seen, it's not the uh, not the easiest of battles to have, shall we say. So, Engines of War. Melee attack for cavalry. Rally. And aura size. So, he does have one unit of cavalry. Okay, so I think the best course of action then will be the ability Lionhearted. Give us a enhanced cooldown when it comes to... Oh, that Chaos Corruption's going up. I do not like the looks of that. Uh, give us a cooldown on our Rally ability, which, as we mentioned before, Bretonians tend to run away a lot. But that's probably because they're using Let peasant the militia, to be honest. Come forward. Ostland, you want me to join the war against Chaos? Vargan scalings. I was already at war with Chaos, the Vargs, and scalings, but uh. Okay. <laughs> very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Okay, so. Let's see how far they go now. So, yeah, looks like we have another level up from this gentleman. And he's been specced in a rather peculiar way, I have to admit. It's the joy of when you confederate with uh, certain... Certain AI-controlled factions. They make some of their uh, leaders make some fairly interesting decisions. Allow me to just make sure I do have military access with these. I will listen, I'm sure I do. but my time... I must do, otherwise it would be there. Type them down. So hopefully we won't get done for trespassing. For the lady! Okay, we will do our best to start doing some damage. Except we do have another full stack over here. 
And Luan. Doing a fantastic job there, buddy. Absolutely fantastic job. Upgrade this. Pretty much everything going over here, economy wise. Now, what about these? Are these a little bit happy with us? Yes, they are. It's going to go much, much further up in the next turn. So if I also end this one here, let me just. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Okay, I forgot. I did actually forget that we uh, had already stopped this. We've got walls being built. We already have those. What is that? War horse stables. Okay, I think that's probably going to be a best best idea because it'll be cheaper if we get knights. Which he does have knights, but I could then sell them. I think I get money back for doing it. No, I don't. We can sell them and get him a slightly more elite unit. That's if we choose to do that though because obviously our economy is taking a little Look. bit of a nosedive with all these uh, high tier units. With a bit of luck we did just level up our paladin so we will put him, if we have, we will put him on horseback. We'll start specking him into being an absolute menace in melee. Um, very much like Luon then we can have uh, Effectively two points of hammer and anvil, which will go into massive, massive stead for ourselves. And yep, here come the scalings. Hmm. Okay, so our allies look like they are taking quite the beating. So I think now may be the time to intercept the Varg before we can build more. It is the damsel who's leveled up. Not that bad to be honest. Not that bad at all. Chain lightning. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. One of my favourite abilities by far. Just because it looks so goddamn cool. But yeah, we will move this guy up. This guy. <laughs> King Luan and we're referring him as referring to him as this guy. My reputation precedes me. I refuse. On what? Glory awaits. See if we can keep pushing these down. If they choose to attack us, it's not the end of the world because this guy will be able to get back to Marienburg and also get back to the capital, which should be absolutely fine and dandy. In terms of public order, it is taking a bit of a hit due to all the corruption that's coming around, but if our research comes out quick enough, we can start to uh, stem that. Although ideally, my main concern is the f the next wave of chaos, which I'm not entirely sure when it will arise, but it should be fairly soon. Okay, so they are pulling back. That's not the best you know who I we could have hoped for. Very well, if you insist. So we'll pull back into Marienburg. Do not I believe I do have walls at Karaburg. I do indeed. So I'm fairly certain that my walls can hold off that force. They might go into a raiding stance, which would be a mild inconvenience, By the light of the lady. but not the end of the world. In the meantime, what do you Cease. have? Next to nothing. And over here, it looks like they are actually pulling back. Very interesting. Where are they pulling to, I wonder? Looks like Ostermark is being targeted next. Champion of the lady. So we will move Luan on over to, to here, see if we can push these units deep into other territories. Also, we will... Hmm. We've not got the greatest of choices, if I'm being honest with you here. I mean, these guys are not the most elite of armies, and he's not even fully upgraded, so... It will give us the ability to have Pegasus Knights. Whereas that will... We don't have the armory yet, but it means we can get some better units like Grail Knights, so... I think we'll do that first. Get some uh, improvements to the global yes. recruitment going on. And then you. 
pretty sure that that can hold, the capital can hold, and I'm fairly certain that you can hold, particularly now that you're in Marienburg. So we will go for another end turn there, and fingers crossed we will have a battle soon. Uh, my biggest peeve with this game at the moment is the fact that, uh, I'm sure some of you who have already played this as well have noticed that when Chaos arrive, it pretty much becomes a game of cat and mouse. Chaos seem to move much quicker than you do, and they just run around in circles and circles and circles. I mean, here is a prime example of what I mean by the uh, the amazing game of cat and mouse. So we will play this out because the worst they've got is Chaos Trolls, which, mm, with our shitty morale, is probably yeah, probably going to cost us. But we do also have some lance units, so I might be able to do them some damage. The Marauder Horseman may be a problem. Uh, perhaps we can take care of the Hounds, get rid of some fear there. I believe Elihart, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Elihart is the one where I get the hill. Or it might be the, the other one to the south. We will find out soon though. So just having a quick look around there, we can see we have uh, Blaze Moss. He's just the generic general for the town. Hopefully he'll do something of value. If I end up getting this turned into a ruin, um, I'll be honest, I will be a little bit pissed. Uh, just because it's, it's a can be a bit of a piss take at times on this game with Chaos. Because like I said, they will just run around, run around, run around in circles. They're not necessarily the hardest thing in the universe to fight. You can, uh, you can defeat them. But they just run around, destroy your shit, and then do the exact same thing, just wheeling from settlement to settlement. You can spec to make your units go quicker, granted, but the problem with doing that is then your heroes are, you know, the morph are over the campaign map as opposed to in a battle. And I don't know about you, but I need a general to do the work for me. Well, that is actually pretty goddamn cool. I did not know that the Yemen also get vanguard deployment. That is quite the game changer. Because they're hidden in the woods over there. It also looks like I do not get the hill. So what I will do. Is move these to here. Have the spearmen in the back behind. Move these up. Shit. <laughs> Fight them and we'll be rewarded. So yeah, the battle is already in their favour, but if we can hold the hill, we might be able to get some cheeky shots off them before they get into range. And if you're wondering why they do have knights like this in around the uh, units, it is a mod that you could get where you... Um, it's called Officers of All. I quite like it, it's probably one of the... Uh, it's purely for aesthetics, let's say. The mod itself, they don't actually do any more damage or anything like that, but it's a nice touch overall, in my opinion. So apparently we are still hidden. Apparently we are still hidden, so we will see if we can get a cheeky charge there. Okay, we need you to focus on other things, like the ones with the great weapons. Very much the case of give them a volley. With a bit of luck, we can shred a few of them. Okay, so if we can shred a lot of these before they get into combat with us, we may have a decent chance. If we do not, though, we will be royally fucked. So, fingers crossed. Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. Another few volleys. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Another few volleys. Doing our duty. Okay, get involved. We fight for See, this is what really does piss me off. Your units just Order. tend to break more or less instantly. Chariots can apparently just uh, ignore the fact that you have units in combat. Okay. 
okay, perfect. Kind of needed you sooner, but you know what? We won't complain. We've got you back now, so we can't complain, really. Yep, and as usual, as we expected, the warriors just go to flee. I mean, you can see the number there, which always uh, always makes me giggle that the units just flee, because we're already outnumbered them. They only have 78 men left. That's including the nasty, nasty monsters that they've got. But our men still just decide that, uh, you know, enough is enough, and they're going to go on a run. Which you'd expect that... Well, you'd hope, at the very least, that people would do a little more. Straight away there, as you can see, more units just breaking and fleeing. Another few good hits, though, off on those. Cannot complain about that. These guys have now returned. See if we can get a cheeky charge off. But it does very much look like a case of too little, too late. Reform, reform. Yeah, those trolls are just going to continue to chase. Whoops, I do apologise. I accidentally uh, steam tabbed that. Because you know I am such the pro at this game. See if we can get these to come back. Oh, for fuck's sake. And yeah, so with a garrison defence force, it's already going up with decisive defeat. I'm expecting these to be absolute cunts, like I mentioned before, and just raise the settlement. Uh, even though you saw when they did it on the enemy, they just sacked it. Uh, the odds are they probably will just raise it against me. Um, bit of a disappointment, but hey-ho, Eskimo. So I think what we will do now is move up that second army that we had that we moved to... Uh, it was our fault tactically to be honest we should well my fault I should really have moved the army that I had uh, Gernberg I should really have moved those instead to um, somewhere a little bit more defensive like Elihart because obviously we now have lost it and it could be a problem but we'll just uh, we'll wait and see what happens because you never know right you never know I was just counting some money out before the battle, before the uh, loading screen came back on there. If you wondered what that little clink was, so yeah, it says it was a valiant defeat. I'm not quite sure I'd use the word valiant. That is quite the attack range that you had there, Chaos. I'm more than slightly impressed. I've got to admit. Right. Okay. So the Varg. Stayed there. 4k they made off was. Hmm. Striking out. Potentially problematic. It shall be so. Leaving. Because they probably will come back. In the meantime. Let us not waste a single second. I'm not going to bother building anything there just for the time being. See, we did lose quite a bit of upkeep. It doesn't help that they are also raiding us for a significant amount of money. That army is nothing particularly special, so fingers crossed. And again, we are just out of range, which, as you can see, I'm not too happy about. So it means that we have no chance of catching up to them, and they're going to get a lot of money off us, which is pretty fucking frustrating. Ready pretty fucking frustrating. The the and again, we still can't catch up to Chaos, so you see exactly what I mean now, I imagine, with regards to the whole cat and mouse thing. Like, there's, there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. You've just got to play the, uh, play the game. But what we will do is try and get my god I mean I feel bad because uh, the young gentleman that we named the character after Eric seemed uh, some pleasant fellow when we were having him on the stream but the hero we named after him just I think he succeeded twice in the entire campaign I know you can argue that I'm putting him free 40% chances but you know what I mean come the fuck on 40% <laughs> should fail six out of ten times <laughs> he's he's 
succeeded twice in about 50 60 attempts so it's getting a little bit little bit tired a little bit tiresome but not to worry we will uh, move some forces around do a couple of truffle shuffles more Varg armies I mean look at the state on that look at the state on that that is something truly incredible we'll try and push these Varg straight back into the sea in the meantime you can you get it to LAR? The you can. You. Fan tippy toppy tastic. So it gives us a chance to turtle it out a little tiny bit. We'll grab you. You'll soon be a tier 2 settlement. Get some more money coming in. We will. 20 turns. Wow. That is. That is a lot of turns. I'm not going to lie. For what it does as well, I mean, we're better off going this way and getting the uh, the other boons. Okay, so Bordeaux. Quite a few choices as to what we do with you. I mean, you've got a tap room, which I'm not really sure you need, but hey ho. Okay, Vampiric Corruption is nearly down. Once we completely lose Vampiric Corruption over here, I can start toying with the idea of moving forces away. My reputation but at the moment, it is pretty imperative that they stay. Let me turn off my Google timer. So that was just a beep to say that uh, that has been 25 minutes. So what I will do, I'll save this one here for you guys. And then in the next episode, we should hopefully get some more battles in. But... Other than that, thank you very much again for watching. Like, comment, rate, subscribe if you're enjoying it. And uh, other than that, thank you very much. Stay pretty, guys.